So here's how to make this VHS rewind effect. The first thing you're going to want to do is find where you want the effect to start. I'm going to have it start right here. So I'm going to do control shift D. I'm going to split it and then I'm going to bring the clip forward. I'm going to take the first clip. I'm going to duplicate it. Go to time, time stretch, change the stretch factor from 100 to negative 30. And then we're going to bring this clip forward here. And then we're just going to put it in the gap where we create in the gap we essentially created. As you can see here, it's going backwards. The next thing we're gonna wanna do, go to effects and presets and in the Sapphire plugin, get S underscore TV damage. We're gonna drag that onto our clip. We're gonna change the reception master from 400. It's personal preference, but I'm just gonna put 0.15. The next thing you wanna do is get signal. I would change the signal strength to 20, signal amplification to five and the cutoff filter to 155. Again, this is all personal preference. Play with or play around with it. Do what you feel is best. Back in STV damage, you're also going to change the fast forward amount. You can change it to whatever you feel is best, but I'm probably gonna do at about 0.68. That looks pretty cool. We're gonna change this from VHS SP to VHS EP. And right here, you could stop the effect. You already have a crazy rewind look right here if you want to take it a step further though what i would do is also have another plugin called film convert nitrate i would take it onto this plugin and the way you're going to want to do is change this from the film size from super 35 millimeter to super 16 or super 8 i'm just going to do super 8 um, and then you're just adjusting the size and the strength and then maybe give it a tiny bit more saturation. And if the if the film convert made your clip a little bit darker, just bring the exposure back a little bit. And essentially what this does is just, it gives you a little bit more texture to the VHS look. It gives it a little bit more grain. Again, this is completely optional. This isn't necessarily something you have to do. It's just something that I personally would do. And just like that, you have a pretty insane VHS rewind effect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be creating all this month. Like and subscribe for more. Bye.